Good morning, everybody. How are you? Know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is definitely my pleasure to be with you this morning. I'm glad that you are here as well. Please invite your timelines. That includes your family, your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, your church members. I mean, literally everyone you come in contact with. Let them know how you start your morning early. And it's dark, but you started on New Day with Amber Shaw. My co-host is with me, Dr. James Mabel Jr. So you know when he is present, so are the shenanigans, the shade, the pettiness, and normally some other stuff. So get ready. We're creating hashtags today. I think last week I asked you guys to go back on some of the previous broadcasts and find your favorite hashtag. Did you remember? Did you do it? We'll find out in just a moment. So go ahead, share this with your timelines and invite everybody to New Day with Amber Shaw. Let's go.
What's up, everybody? Good morning to you. Listen, I am so excited that you guys are here with us this morning. So without further ado, listen, let's get this thing in motion. I have the Mississippi Mass Choir in the background. It's good to know who? Who? Jesus. Yes. It's good to know Jesus. Dr. James Mabel Jr. is here with us this morning, everybody. So, you know, do what you normally do, however you normally greet him. I don't know if you guys clap. I don't know if you stand. I don't know if you just sit there and look at the screen. Like, I mean, whatever you do, it's good for me. You may do nothing. You know, I mean, nothing. <laughs> but whatever it is, make certain that you do it. In this time frame, want to chat with all of you, especially those of you that are in church chat. Go ahead and share the broadcast with your timelines. Emojis are useful. Hearts, thumbs up, thumbs down, frowns, smiles, whatever you have at your disposal, whatever it is, we want you to display it. Good morning to you all and good morning to my co-host. Hey, Mabel. All you see is our teeth. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ma'am, let me be. Play that. It's good to know him. It is good to know him. Yes. And not always them. No, him. Him, not them. Him. him. Yeah. You got to know. You got to know, got to know him. him. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Mabel. How was your weekend? My weekend was quite was quite busy. Okay. You know, I got a chance. I got a chance to hang out at uh, for a few hours with you. Indeed, you did. Indeed, you oh. did. We made that pilgrimage all the way down. I say pilgrimage. It was three and a half hours. <laughs> we made our pilgrimage to Dallas. We did. We did. We it did. was good. It was good to see you. Be, it you know, was good to see you too in person. Yes, indeed. For the very first time ever. We're not doing this today. We're What's up, Church Chat? Good morning to Coco. Good morning to Restine. Crystal Singleton Wilson. Good morning. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I'm like, I'm feeling, wait a minute. We about to go live, because see, I'm feeling what Crystal is saying. I ain't going to say nothing yet, but I'm, you know. Um, it's gonna... not necessarily a new color. It is an updated color. So we'll talk about that <laughs> just briefly. In a <laughs> we going live. Is We got to go live, Lord. We got to go. <laughs> you going to mute your mic? Yes, indeed. It's good. It's good to know. Now, who might you ask? It's good to know Jesus. The Mississippi Mass Choir. Good morning, everybody. New Day with Amber Shaw is with you. It's currently 8.08, eight minutes past the hour. And listen, I am here. We are here. Dr. James Mabel Jr. joins me this morning. Hey, Mabel. Good morning, good morning. Amber Shaw. How are you? I'm well, Mabel. I'm well. Listen, the Mississippi Mass Choir is good to know. Listen, you should know him. As you said, you got to know him and not them. Yeah, yeah. You better, you better know him. Because if you don't know him, you're going to have a hard time dealing with him. <laughs> <laughs> that, as they say, ladies and gentlemen, that'll preach. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, good to... Another week has gone by. Where is time going? Like it's the middle of April. What? Flying by. Flying by. Listen, tomorrow, well, today is the 14th. Tomorrow is the 15th. Well, you know, well, y'all know what that is. So, but yeah, uh huh. <laughs> hey, man. Um, 
Somebody pay uh, I read the Bible. You know, some people got paid today. He <laughs> checked today early. Every, you know, some banks, some banks let the river flow early. Hallelujah. Right. So I'm just resurrected. Did your bank account get resurrected? Did it? It did. Come on, fill it back up. We got the mobile to pay. Amen. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Good morning to you all. As you can tell, James is here. He is firing on all cylinders this morning. But it is Resurrection Weekend, to, you know, tomorrow. Well, to, today is Thursday. So today is Maudie Thursday. And um, there are a lot of, you know, ceremonies that are going to be um, happening for Maudie Thursday tonight. Um, my church has one, Colored Missionary Baptist Church, so I will be there on tonight. And then you have many of the Good Friday services that will happen you know some of the churches they're going to be frying fish tomorrow afternoon around about that 11 to 1 time i'm just saying whatever mabel why why are you laughing because i'm telling the truth anyway i need a carry out that's all i need just give me a carry out i'm fine what is <laughs> yes indeed and then you know you have your your night um good friday or evening tonight good friday services they're gonna be talking about them seven words yeah uh-huh yes indeed and then you know we roll into the weekend and then of course i want to know this is the question this is the question and we're gonna jump back into the music does your church still have sunrise service that's what i want to know james mabel now you're from navasota and I'm not going to talk about Navasota, but I know your father, James W. Mabel Sr., uh -huh. is the pastor yeah. of the Missionary Camp Baptist Church. Now, now y'all doing sunrise down in Navasota? Well, I hate to inform all of the Baptist saints in that region, but uh, my daddy does not do sunrise service anymore. He used to do that coming up as a kid, had to be a bet. 3.30 trying to get some eggs and carry it on and get to get to our sister church, the fellowship, and everybody burning them candles in the morning. It's dark. We can't see nothing. Um, All for the hunt. All for the hunt. Okay. But, uh, no, we don't. He no longer has sunrise service. He stopped that about, um, oh, goodness. Was about, I would say about nine, ten years ago and uh, just have just a regular one service. 10.30 kind of deal, and, and we're off and running. And then my current church crossover, no, we don't We do not do sunrise. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Shout out to the crossover Bible fellowship. But that's the question at hand, 713-668-1230. Does your church still do sunrise? We're going to go to the phone lines really quickly. Good morning, caller. Yes, Brother Lee. Sunrise church at six o'clock. Come, 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 come to us. Brother Lee, they come to us. The Lily Grove Church on the south side, Pastor Terry K. Anderson. They got sunrise at 6 a.m. Thank you, Brother Lee. All right. <laughs> love me some Brother Lee. And I also, I love Anita Wilson, too. This is Jesus Will, New David Avery Shaw, 1230 The Source. Good morning, everybody. Y'all better go on that sunrise service. <laughs> Listen, church chat. I want to know. I want to know. Is your church having sunrise service? Put it in the chat, and I want to know your church name. I want your pastor's name, and I want to know what city you in. Listen, my church, Colored Missionary Baptist Church on the south side of H-Town, at the intersection of Alameda, Genoa, and Cullen Boulevard. Yes, we in that thing. We in that thing. Come on, cut me. Can't miss it. It's right there at the corner, Saints. It's at the corner, one three two three three, in Cullen Boulevard. <laughs> well, listen, I'm I, I the crossover Bible Fellowship Church, twelve three thirty two Perry Road. Blake Wilson, lead pastor, and we yes. don't do sunrise. As <laughs> Rastine said, as Rastine Wilson says, no, we get sleeps at the crossover Bible Fellowship Church. Dwayne <laughs> Terry is in church chat. He said, awesome. "No Lord." He say no Lord. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. All right. So you know that was that was a good start off. That was a good start off. You know, I it just kind of came to me. 
And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, how many churches are really, really, um, even before the pandemic, I, I was wondering about that. You know, I know, pan, you know, we're still in the pandemic. There are some factors that are much, um, you know, that are not as um, prevalent as they were two years ago. But at the right. same time, I wondered, because even for um, Maudie Thursday, I know, James, you have a Maudie Thursday service, I believe, that you're part of. So are they going to yeah. be doing the feed washing and things as well? Uh, not at this service. It's more so uh, just a revivalist coming okay. in. Uh, so for those who are in the Houston area tonight, you know, I'm going to go and plug it while I'm on here because I'm a co-host. But um, if you're anywhere near the Houston area, come on out to the third ward area of town. All right. You come on to Holman Street Baptist Church. Uh, Pastor Murray Martin, it's their Monday Thursday service at 7 p.m. Dr. Frank Harris from Second Canaan Baptist Church. Okay. All the way in Detroit, Michigan is in town. And uh, yours truly will be singing the sermonic selection. Come on, Amen. sermonic selection. Sermonic selection. Amen. So, yeah, that's that's happening tonight right here in Houston. So for those who, you know, you can tune in online if you don't want to come out to the hood, right? Yeah. Just tune in. Wait a minute. Why you have to say, why, why you just can say if you just don't want to come out? Why you have to say if you don't want to come out to the hood? I mean, my, grandma, my grandma right down the street. I mean, the hood is the hood. I mean, yeah, it's, I understand it's that your right grandmother there. is right down the street, but it, it could be implied that you're saying that the hood is not where you really want to be. My base is the hood. Late at night. No, give you book. <laughs> did, you, did you just say nuck if you buck? I said what I said. Nuck if you buck. I really don't think you can fight, and I'm just gonna leave that right there. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I, that's just my. That's my opinion. That's just my opinion. Oh. I'm just saying. Look, if you buck. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna buck. So listen, whatever. In Jesus. Ah. Oh my gosh, Corey Warren is here. Good morning, Corey. Hi, How are you? Corey. Goldsboro, North Go Carolina. North Carolina. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Why is he in here? Oh, <laughs> God. I don't even want to know what that means. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I wanted, I wanted to go back to Crystal Singleton Wilson's comment. She said, no, nah, we don't do sunrise service. <laughs> Even when I was still in my home church, I stopped going because I didn't want to be with our drunkards, Crystal! <laughs> Crystal Singleton Wilson. Did you just say you didn't want to be with our out with the drunkards? Well, you know what? So listen, that's kind of how I feel about um, um, watch night. That's 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 kind of how I feel, especially for those churches that have watch service. You know, literally, they at the church at midnight, and you know, all of the firearms are being discharged, and you know, uh -huh. the you know the clubs are letting out and things like that. I'm all for that noonday watch night. I'm all for it. I'm I'm all right. for watch day. Get out, get out, get out around six. <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> some churches do it at like noon, and they be done by like one thirty two. Listen, they pray over the people for the blessings that are going to come at twelve dot zero zero. <laughs> Look, Chris, I knew what you meant. I would just, it just, you, your comments are just, you just be like, bloop, bloop, right there with your comments. You just, you just throw them on in there. You know, I, she says she ain't got to do all of that. She just lay it down. She says, she, listen, she lay it down how she lay it down. Lay it yeah. down, lay it down. I'm just saying. No, but who started this sunrise service? Who was the founders? Which one of them you know. disciples did it? Which one of them did it? Like, what is the purpose? I mean, we did it all right. We used to finish with our sister church back in Navasota. I mean, really? four o'clock in the morning, yeah, trying to get to Mount Calvary. And then Mount Calvary would come to missionary camp one year. Mission, we would just alternate. It's like, what are we doing? Like, who started this? Like, Jesus already out the tomb. He gone. You know what? I am, you know He's what? <laughs> I cannot. So listen, last week I asked you guys to 
go back and find your favorite hashtag. Did anybody do it? What has been your favorite hashtag thus far? Your favorite hashtag thus far. I was trying to figure out why do I still hear this music so loud, but it's a pair of headphones up there. And it's like, why do I keep hearing this music like this? But um, wow. I just had to give Get you that inside thing. I was like, we why? Wow. <laughs> Ma'am, get it on this pre-Friday. Please get it together. Dale Jackson, you're going to stay, get off of the Navasota Preachers. I'm from Navasota. I know we country. I know it took us 65 centuries to catch up to the city people, but you're not going to come for the Navasota people. Not, a, not in church chat today. No. Dwayne Terry said he can't even do midnight musicals no more. <laughs> Dwayne, why you can't do midnight musicals? What's up? What's up? Tell me, tell me the tea on the midnight music. Is it just because it's just late, like like late late? No, they be they be doing all of them. They be taking like eighty nine praise breaks. It's hard. But I, I but I thought that much. but I thought y'all were going to be blessed by the ministry of the saints. My feet no? ain't tap that much. No, my feet bad. Give me about two good taps, and I'm gonna sit on down. You know what? I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, yo. It's too much. Everybody be going on and carrying on. Hey, come on. Let's move this. Let's move this alone, Amber. You know how they be doing. I'm still on you talking about my feet are bad, and I, you need two good taps. I, I'm still right there. I'm, I'm still there. I have not moved on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Listen here. Look at Anthony Faulkner's comment. This is why he's so international. This is why he's so international. He, look. Anthony Faulkner, happy Thursday to you, wherever in the friendly skies. <laughs> did, you, did you see Restine's post? <laughs> I need to get off the camera. Excuse me. That deserves a leave. I gotta leave. I gotta go. I, Restine, why you so Restine? You know you can't say inflammatory statements like that now. All of our coaching friends are gonna come for us. You got the he whole Dwayne it. Terry. You got the whole Dwayne Terry on here. Amber, what? He Kojic. Oh, Restine is Kojic. Oh, Rest oh, I thought Crystal. Crystal. Okay, Crystal. Crystal is the Baptist. Crystal is the back and and rest. Okay, okay, I take it back, Restine. You good? He can come for his own people now. Yeah, he can come for you know. It's cool. I'm not gonna come for him. I, uh, I'm trying to still have a job. Now Amber. you know the social the the listen the social media is all about likes and clicks and stuff. I don't want them kind of clicks. Mm -mm. Right. <laughs> It'd be a whole campaign. It'd be a whole campaign. Everybody listen, coming for me. Don't you do oh. it. That's Somebody army over there. I'm coaching. But listen, they, so I may, I, I may get in trouble for this. So how many of you watched the WNBA draft on Monday? I don't know if that's something that you guys do, but um, I got a chance to watch the first round of the WNBA draft. And oh my gosh, and I cannot remember the young lady's name. She was like, she was round one. She was picked number three or four. She, I mean, she was tall, right? Right. She was like for real, for real tall. It's not her that I'm going to talk about. It's her mom, I believe. Baby mama was dressed. She had on her purple suits. Uh huh. Uh huh. And had on her silver hat. You better come on. I was like, oh, I bet they coach you. Listen, <laughs> listen. Baby mama was dressed. Mama said, I am wearing the good, good garbs. To the to the what WNBA list. She was coming. She was coming. ready. List. Listen, she was. Complication <laughs> ready. ready yo. <laughs> oh my goodness! And they were so excited, and they hugged. But when I saw it was purple, and the hat was silver, and it had like tears. It was like, I'm not gonna say what I know, but it was. It had tears, and it was slanted just a little bit. And I was like, yeah, yes, mother. Yes. AT has provided a, a first hashtag. It's not the one, it's not a part of the assignment that you told the people to go back and retrieve, but he provided the first, first hashtag this morning. Okay. Good morning, Daniel Prescott. 
Okay, so let's go see what the first hashtag of the day is. The first hashtag. Get out the way. <laughs> Listen, when he said the two taps, I was like, what? And what does that have to do with your feet or the metal in your feet or whatever? My feet bad. I gotta give him. I gotta. I can listen. I I give him. I'll give him a good one. I'll give him a pre and a post. And after that, y'all can have it. It's gonna be in my hands right here. That's all. That's all. Bree say it's too much. Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> Bree, like for real though, Bree. Like, <laughs> come so on. I did a midnight. I haven't done. I haven't. Well, I haven't been to a midnight musical since the one that I presented a couple of years back and so mine might have not really really been a midnight musical we didn't start at 12. we started at 10 and we was done by 12 15. That's not midnight. listen i got as close to 12 as i could listen don't do me that's not that's not midnight very midnight Bree, it's always a pleasure, ma'am. I'm glad that you're here and you're enjoying. I think you just come for James anyway. I think you just come for James and see how funny he is going to be in the morning. No matter how you guys got here or why you're here, we are definitely excited. Please share this with your timelines. Be happy. Share. Share the broadcast, people. Just let the people know. What do they come in for 2.5 seconds? They have passed through the new day. With Amber Shaw Show. Dark and early, huh? Dark uh -huh. and early. Mary Mabel at church chat. Yeah, my mama here. <laughs> um, mask, the mask mandate for airplanes and public transportation, it was getting ready to run out. They have extended it for another 15 days. We're going to talk about that on the way back. Y'all see this? Let's get ready to talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing without you. That's Jason Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. Jason was in town earlier this week, got a chance to be a part of the album release event over at vegan bay they have a new collective project entitled revival and jason nelson is a part of that project he sang for us oh did he sing i haven't had a chance to post that video yet but i am going to post it and it was so interesting um let me see james are you familiar with dw james can you hear me? I can. Hey, I was saying Jason Nelson was in town um, earlier this week. He was a part of the Vegan Bay, um, the collective. They have a new um, project that's out entitled Revival. He's on it. And Jonathan is actually featured on their radio single. And so Jason sang for us. But I was going to ask you, are you familiar with the bass player DW? Yes, I am. Listen, that baby right there, him. The D, the DW, <laughs> he is amazing, and so there's a song that John that Jason sang, and um, DW was playing, and so when Jason got up, he was like, "Well, you know, we really haven't rehearsed this, so I really don't know how it's gonna go." I love when people do that. I love it because you know sometimes it's like they they help us get into the mindset that you know this might not be my best, but then you get up and you kill, and I was just like. That was amazing. So for those of you who don't realize, know who DW is, DW, he is um, a, a talented musician and he is one of the sons of the late Timothy Wright. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. He is an absolutely amazing talent. And he just flowed with Jason and was like, sir, what are you doing? Like, what? Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Gotta know it. Yes, indeed. So remember, everybody, there's been an extension on the mask mandate for public, well, for mass transportations, planes, trains, things like that. Um, that um, first 
date was getting it was getting ready to expire and the um, what is it the center for disease control and prevention they have extended it for another 15 days i still want to know how do you feel about that now i know the mask can be very restrictive you get hot you start coughing and nothing's wrong with you you're just hot you know you need to be able to inhale and exhale without something in front of your nose and mouth. So with that being said, some of you are starting to travel more. You've been thinking about it, but how do you feel now to know that that extension might just be for another 15 days and then that's it? I want to hear from you. 713-668-1230 Facebook Live. I want to hear from you as well. New Day with Amber Shaw, 1230 The Source. Good morning, everybody. So church chat, I want to know, how do you guys feel about that? This mandate, um, you know, again, is extended for an additional 15 days or so. And um, whether you were planning to travel via plane, train, you know, rail car, you know, whatever, whatever it might be that, well, that is a train. Sorry. I didn't want James to come for me because I feel like in his spirit, it was coming. No, I was getting ready to come for you. <laughs> I was coming. I was coming. I was getting ready to come for you. I can't. I and you're, and you're up, I was getting ready to come for you and mix that in with your updated color. I was, I was coming. Yeah, we still got to talk about the updated color. Well, we really don't have to, but we will because Crystal brought it up. Yes. But no, I mean, how do you guys feel about that? You know, um, we've been under pandemic and we're still in the pandemic. That label has not officially been removed yet. But ultimately, getting ready to get on a plane for James and myself and many others um, that travel, the musicians, the artists and things like that. Um, I, I believe that you can still wear it. You know, they're not going to tell you, oh, you got to take your mask off. But with this mandate, getting ready to be possibly removed. How do you all feel about that? Do you fly or do you just make certain you got some good tires? Transmission is up to date. You got some spark plugs. <laughs> or you got the funds to get your rental car, pay for that insurance, and bam, you, you, you're you um, off. <laughs> yeah, church chat, we really want to hear your perspective on this. So you, if you if you heard that, that interrogative that the Amber Shaw has just put out, uh, please put your comments. I, re I Let's kind of discuss this a little bit. Uh, while when you guys are typing, uh, shout out. What well, JT says, if the musical lasts until midnight, is it considered a midnight musical? I don't know. We're going to keep moving because I'm not about to play with you, JT. Say, no, Crystal, say it one more time. JT says if the musical lasts until midnight, is it considered a midnight musical? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's another question, too. If it's a midnight musical, does it have to start at midnight or can it just be going on through midnight? Because I'm telling you, mine started at 10. I and I just didn't feel like the people, because see, so... I remember midnight musicals from, you know, growing up and things like that. And I know that they used to literally start at midnight. Like it was dark, you know, just before the break of daylight kind of thing. Right. But just I just, break. listen, I, I threw it in there. I threw it in there. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> um, Crystal Wilson says, I think all are tired of it. She's talking about the mask, but she believes that doing what we have to do for the safety of the masses. Now, here's the crazy part. Uh, show shout out to uh, Lady Victory KGGR is in church chat. Love you. Stop. Well, hold on. Put 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 a pin where Crystal was. Listen, oh. we were in Dallas. We told you guys that we made the pilgrimage of three and a half hours to Dallas last week to surprise Lady Victory, Carmina Barnett, all of them actually. We personally, you know, we know Lady Victory, we know Carmina, we know Derek and others, you know, but we made um Again, I love this word pilgrimage to Dallas to um, they were being honored at the it was just it, it's a pilgrimage. Can, can you just can you can you flow with me? Man. Go on. Go on. The pilgrimage. Talk about it. I just really want to call it a pilgrimage. No, it's the pilgrimage. I mean, I could talk about how you completely changed the trajectory of the plan that we had. It was a pilgrimage because I had to travel by myself when the original plan was to what? Pilgrimage. Be a united front, show, co-host, host, co-host, co 
and we were going to go together, right? And we showed, we showed up as one. Co-host, co no, I showed up before you did. Let's well, start that. Let tell the people on the freeway to have a wreck. Listen. I was, I was in the service. I was, I was in the service before you. And you come tipping in. From LBJ Highway. I was trying to get from LBJ. And it was and, and it was a wreck. Listen here, we 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 have a comment in church chat. We we must address and we can get back on this. Okay. Uncle Foot said, <laughs> Why have y'all said good morning to everyone except me? What's up with that? Uncle Foots, let me tell you something. Sometimes all the comments don't come through Uncle Foots. So we're gonna need you to be forgiving us. Wait a minute. <laughs> James. I got you. What? James. What did Uncle Foots just come for us? He came. He came for us all the way from Oklahoma City. Did he yes. come for us? All the way from OKC. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uncle Foots that came for us all the way via Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uncle Foots that came for us this morning, everybody. Good morning to Donald Ray Harding, aka mm -hmm. Uncle Foots from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Guys, he came us. He did on on the show. On the show. Okay, so go back to Crystal's point. Okay, the midnight musical stuff. Hey, Roger Willis, go on. <laughs> go on, Crystal's no, point. Uh -oh. so Roger said he' about to come for us too. Good uh -oh. morning, go Roger Willis. Crystal, because she' gonna come for us if we don't talk about what she commented on. Crystal said she need we need to do uh, what we have to do for the safety of the masses. Wholeheartedly yeah. agree. Um, so you see this? I'm wearing my my mama then already gave me an order in church chat. She said, Mask for life, your choice, my choice. Ju June bug <laughs> better keep his mask on. <laughs> so y'all know I love the gallivant. That's the word, and like Corey Warren, matriculate. Um, uh, y'all, I just I I will I travel too much. Um, and I'm okay with it. I put my mask on, I go on. So if the Saints want to look at me crazy after the mandate ends, fine. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll carry on. I think it's going to be something that I'll probably definitely carry for life, or it's going to be a long time, Amber. Right. A long, long time. Because here's the deal. While we, while numbers have decreased and numbers are going down and less deaths, you know, with the variants, they're, they, they spread a little quicker, but now that people are vaccinated and stuff, it's not as, you know, rampant. Um, but you just... You know, it's just become accustomed to having something. Yeah. And so now it's like, just get the mask. And I got so, plenty of N95s, you know, just go yeah. on. So I'll speak for myself. There are times when I go in places. First of all, first and foremost, again, good morning to Miss Mary Mabel. Good morning, ma'am. Always a pleasure. So glad that you're here this morning hanging out with us on New Day. You got your, you already know him. You got your June bug. You know, he's regular. But I am excited you're that you're here. You're here. Did huh? you just say June bug again? We don't need to just re-emphasize June bug. Do you want me to call you Dimples or what? I'm just curious which one you want me to call you. Don't do me. The doc, doc, you know, you know what, Amber? Anyway, there have been some times when I've gone into establishments and nobody's wearing a mask, right? So I was going to ask, does anyone ever feel intimidated when you walk into a place and you have your mask on and nobody else does? And and I'm and if you know if that's not you, that's fine. But I have felt like that. You know, it feels like when you when you have yours on, the other people don't. It becomes like a bully situation. It's like man, the peer pressure or whatever you want to call it. It's it's just a, it's it's an uneasy. Um, unsettling feeling sometimes to walk yeah. into a place that doesn't have it. And then everybody kind of turns and looks at you and it's like, eh, you know, I'm just trying to they be safe at, over here. Yeah. <laughs> they look at you like you're crazy. Like it's like they look at you like it's a sin, like they didn't have to wear their mask just a few months ago. Right. You know, of course we're here in Texas, so we already know. Um but no it's crazy. Um Roger Willis said I miss y'all and I got nothing. Roger we miss you too. I you know so I I, I told my I was I always go back. So I, Amber, these people are coming for us today. <laughs> but these the hashtag people. metal toes, though, I, it's it's almost like you got anti mat. What what are what are the um what are Wolverine's um things um anti madam um uh, I'm just saying I'm sorry. That's the first thing I thought about. Did you why'd you put Daryl's comment up here? Because it was a hashtag. This show, 
lives on hashtags. Metal toes. I mean, don't take it personal. Do you have metal toes? You just have a metal ankle, right? Hashtag, I'm sorry. Can somebody put hashtag, I'm sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good morning to you all, to everyone that is here. We appreciate you all so, so very much. Um, we try to call out everybody as much as possible. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. We get caught up in the conversation. But please know, for real, on the serious tip, I appreciate you. I'm going to speak for James. When he, he comes back, he can talk for himself. But definitely, we appreciate you all so, so very much. I would like for you all to share this feed with your timelines. Get your family, your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, get them involved as well. To all of my looky-loos, we love you too. We love you too. And you're like, what is a looky-loo? A looky-loo is the person that never really acknowledges that they're there. They're scrolling on Facebook and they don't actually click on, but they can still hear the audio and they just laugh and they just shake their head they, and they're like, they so crazy. And then they text me later. James, do you have those people that text you or they call you later talk about, oh, y'all show was funny? Oh, you still in your feelings? I, th I thought it was over once you once you came back to the screen. I'm still processing what, what was just said. But to answer your question, I, I can process it while I talk. Jesus, he uh, needs couch time. He needs couch time. I get, I get people being my, the Robin McCollum. Robin, rest in I'm not gonna deal with y'all. I can't do this today. Y'all are y'all go y'all y'all are showing out. But yeah, I get people all the time because what I do is I also share the broadcast in my stories. So of course, there's thousands of folks in my stories that come through and click whether they watching the live or the replay. And it's like, oh, you and Amber be cutting up. I was like, why you just saying? <laughs> yes, why y'all don't say nothing? Like, why don't say nothing? You just you go through the whole broadcast. Don't make not one comment. Don't say nothing. But you just taking in all of the shenanigans. And carrying on between Am and I and Carmina, like really, this 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 what y'all do? Uh, Roger Willis, hashtag sensitive. I'm not. Oh, about to that's do what it. I was gonna say. Um, so I go back through the comments. Um, she does too. She going like all of them. I I literally I I actually rewatch the entire show because I do miss so much of of the interaction. A lot of times, got a lot of stuff going on. Remember this whole show that's going on here right the terrestrial right. part and so oh, i do no. miss a lot but i try to go back and comment as much as i can and some of the stuff i see afterwards it's like oh my gosh i wish i would have seen that right it would have jarred my memory or oh, i forgot about that oh i meant to go back but i did think last week i haven't seen roger willis i was like but i remember from the previous week that roger was working on this big big project and i was just like you know what he is just buckled yeah. down he says, right. no socials, I got to get it done. So that's why right. I thought that, you know, maybe that was the thing. Yeah. He's famous. He's famous. JT says, everybody don't want to be a part of all this foolishness. <laughs> JT, Amber, we got to rise, y'all. We got to rise, Amber. You know Can why? we? Oh, 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 are we rising right now? We're just real quick. Playing. You know, you know how because, I feel about this. Because Bishop Becca. Listen, Rebecca in here. Is okay. in church. Well, hold on. Listen, but, but listen to this. L listen, listen to this. Let's do it from the top, y'all. Hey. We pause just for a few moments as we honor the late Elder Tanner Gary. Yes. It's not an anniversary or memory of a memorial type of day. It's just, I'm playing Tana today. <laughs> yeah, such a gift. Such a gift. Yes. So I had to do that. I had to get that. You know, James, I never know how I'm going to feel um, when I play any of his music. This one in particular was the last song that we were working. We were actually preparing to go to the Stellas um, right before Tanner passed away. So wow. this one always, and then the, 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 there's another song 
that always kind of hits, but I never know how I'm going to feel when I play it. A lot of days I am, I find myself, I'll cry and be joyous and, you know, remembering, you know, his life and everything that, that he um, poured into people and what he poured into ministry. If you guys knew Tanner, if you heard of him, when I tell you he walked and talked accordingly, Yes, indeed. So to the late Elder Tanner Gary, the song is Mighty God. Yes. Amber, we got another friend in church chat that then popped in. Got, we might have to rise one more time. Yes. We got Eric Burde. Eric. So Eric let me know the other night, ladies and gentlemen, I told you we made our pilgrimage to Dallas, right? Eric stopped by before, well, he came over to where um, James and I were before he had to leave. And so we were talking about um, a little bit of, you know, he got some new music that's coming out and everything. And I just started seeing the promotions for it. And he told me that he watches the show. And I was like, really? And I said, are you a looky Lou? He was like, no, <laughs> sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes, because <laughs> he's at work and everything like that. But listen, he is definitely a powerhouse. He is a name um, in Dallas, Texas, and not just Dallas, actually it's around the country. But yeah. um, Eric has an amazing catalog of music. And thank you so much, Eric, for being here this morning. Listen, I'm grateful. This church chat has been beyond over fire this morning. Yes, they have in church. They've been getting the word from us, so now they got something to talk about, huh? There you go. Come on, huh? Donald Godboat is here as well. Donald Godboat and slid on through. Slid on up in here. What you say? Come on, Godboat. We see you, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Like, no, we really, like Amber was saying, let me be quiet. Wait a minute, hold on. Y'all. Elder Tanner see. Gary with Mighty God, New Day with Amber Shaw, 1230, The Source. Good morning, everybody. It's about 15 minutes to the top of the hour. Paris Ely will be next with The Morning Magazine. A couple more songs for you. It's all right here, New Day with Amber Shaw, 1230, The Source. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, the saints are talking. The saints are in church chat. Uh, I like when the saints are talking, though. Listen, I, we appreciate y'all for real. Listen, if you have not done so, share the broadcast. Go down to the bottom left portion of your screen if you're on your phone. Hit share, right, and then hit right post, and then hit post. <laughs> share, right post, post. You ain't got to write a post. You just, just hit the right post button and go ahead and share the broadcast. Again, because people, um, people come in. You know, dip in for a few minutes because folk getting their day started. Folk are working. They got jobs and stuff. I got a job. But a lot of folks say I don't work. I don't know why. I work. I work, Sam, but you know, I have a I have a job. Praise the Lord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Robin. Really, Amber? Really? I, I saw I'm agreeing with you. You have a job. That uh -huh, was real fake. That's shady. How you gonna you, tell me about my response? This is you, my response. It wasn't all the response. You can't tell me how to do my response. You're walking in your you're walking in your title of being shady and petty. That mm -hmm was mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. always have to be so particular. Mm -hmm. Always gotta be so mm -hmm. particular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Um, CC Gapo, good morning. Hey, <laughs> Congratulations, y'all. She is moving her way up the God's billboard. God's billboard. We proud of you, CC. So good, so good, and thankful for what the Lord is doing for you. See, y'all, learn how to celebrate. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Keep going, CC. We're proud of you. Shout out to her radio promoter, uh, Derek Huggins, Vidity, uh, Vidity Promotions. Uh, Amethyst, is it Moye Turner? If I'm getting your uh -huh. name right, it's just Amethyst. Just say Amethyst. Listen, Amethyst is from the Midwest. Everybody, she's from Chicago. She's a gospel recording artist, and she has um, a song. It's entitled "Redeemed," featuring Molly Music. Shout out hey. to Amethyst this morning. Hey, and listen, hey, James, and Amethyst yes. is on the. She she a part of the second round. The second round of voting. Huh? Huh? Put the is open. Go vote for her. Huh? <laughs> I love it. Your stylist says y'all have a blessed day. She got to get the resurrection hair dudes together. She, if y'all need y'all hair did, well, she probably booked. So you, she, yeah, she, she. Listen, she is. Yeah. So, Portia, we love you. 
got you lifted as well. We appreciate you for just supporting us. Obviously, you love Amber first, and you you know you fell in love of with course. me because when you of put course. you put me on yeah. the on your uh, on your TV screen in the salon. We thank you for putting the, the the Mabel playlist from YouTube on your screen in the salon for the people to listen to, to Doctor Junior. Yeah, we thank you. We Tosha's birthday was actually last Thursday, guys, and she was in church chat for a hot second, and it was on my mind to say collectively out, you know, loud, happy birthday to Torsha. So can we give Torsha, you know, a belated happy birthday, everybody? Everybody that's in church chat, would you all do me a favor and, you know, just tell my stylist happy belated birthday, um, if you would, if you would, you know? I'm just saying. Tell just my saying. Style. <laughs> but this goes back to Crystal's, one of Crystal's first points this morning. Yeah, Crystal, so it is, I don't know how, well, it's been the same color blend that I've had for a while, but you see it, you know, you see it now because I actually got some color redone on yesterday. So thank you. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing. We got, we got Charleston, South Carolina in here. We got Charleston. Who from Charleston? Edwin. Right. Edwin Wright. Yes, Radio is in this thing today. You got Corey Warren, Goldsboro, North Carolina. You got Lady Victory, KGGR in Dallas, Texas. Now you got Edwin the Chef Wright from Charleston, South Carolina, WSOP and Heaven 101.1. And listen, come on. Who else? Did I miss anybody else? Radio Robin. Listen, I forgot Philly. I forgot Philly's finest. Philly's Finest is in the building. Radio Robin, WNAP, as well as Black Gospel Radio, everybody. So, yeah. Hey. Absolutely. Amethyst, can you tell us what category? Because public voting is open. You in, you in church chat, we might as well tell the Saints where to go vote. Y'all go to the StellarWars.com. Amethyst, if you're still there, you don't mind. Just give us a category. So, Amethyst oh. is in the um, in the rap and... Um, I want to get the exact title, and I should yeah. know. Got a lot Tony of G. Yeah, we, yes, got so we got Columbia in the building, too. We the got radio, Tony. baby. Radio is here. Radio is here. What's going on, Tony G? <laughs> Tony G from WFMV 96.1 in Columbia, South Carolina. Good morning, sir. Hey. I got Marika Chisholm in the background. Hiya. Y'all see it, y'all. Amethyst is in category 26, y'all. Make sure you vote for him. All right. Um, is that higher? Who? Is that higher? Yes. You better act like you know your gospel songs. Come on. Yeah. So you heard me mention that I was at Vegan Bay on Monday. They did the album release for their new collective project entitled Revival. So that'll be the last song that we play today. The song is called Rejoice, featuring Jonathan Nelson and Anthony. Well, Anthony Hall is the feature. So Anthony's there. Jonathan is the feature. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle G this morning. Shout out to him. That's the one and only. Oh, Greg we can't Lyman. forget this. Listen, what's going on in Houston this weekend? Come on. The Avidity Radio Honest gets oh. Houston. These are That's the facts. Why James and I made the pilgrimage. <laughs> I, I can't stop saying it. I just can't stop saying it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Tony G just threw in his shameless plug in church chat. Oh, because they're nominated too, right? WFMV is, um, I think it is Media Market that they're dominated in. So, yeah. Radio Station of the Year. Y'all better put all these plugs in. Congrats <laughs> to everybody who made the second yeah. round. Hey, that's good stuff. I love it. Again, here's a beautiful thing about it. Celebrate these people's journeys. Y'all don't know. Y'all have no earthly idea what these people have had to go through. And uh, the beautiful thing I love about the Lord Amber and as you know, I I testify because this is how, this is my this is my life. When God got something to get to you, He'll get it to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yes, sir. It won't, it won't be no delay. It's gonna be right on time. So all those who are uh, nominated uh, for Stellars, God bless y'all. Look at Anthony Faulkner, fifty thousand feet in the air, talking about hashtag plugs, hashtag congratulations. 
Chris Ann Moore mentioned, she commented on when we were talking about the mask mandate, even though it's been extended 15 days. So how do you feel about if masks go away completely? She says, listen, she's going to continue to wear her mask. And I think, you know, still going to fly when she needs to. You know, yep. it works. It works. Shout out to Chris Ann Moore, who has a great song that's out um, on radio right now. It's called Thank You, Jesus. Come on. Edwin Wright says he's receiving an award today from the South Carolina State House. You better come on. Come the on, State. Chef. Congratulations, get, sir. Get your award. Yes. Roger Willis trying to be anointed. He says, yes, it's a comma, not a period. It's on the way. <laughs> Preacher here, Roger. Listen. Okay. Let's see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, God got it for you. You just go on and and celebrate. Um, it's a beautiful thing. I tell folks all the time. It ain't nobody but the Lord that keeps the phone ringing for me. Hallelujah. Yeah, because you because you booked in because you are booked and busy. James is booked and busy. Everybody hashtag that's we. I know we've had that hashtag before. But uh, uh, booked and busy. Booked and busy. Oh, if we th don't you make me shout. I will. We Pastor Carrie, oh. Pastor Carrie Baker is here. <laughs> That's Rastine Wilson that crossover. When that glory hit me, do this. He do like this. <laughs> Whoa. I thank God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, speak, wait a minute. Can I go in and just give me my disclaimer right now so you won't clown me? Because I know you and Carmina gonna clown me next week. Uh, I'm gonna I tell mean, you this right now, a week in advance. I'm putting my you time have 60 in. seconds. Get it done. It's real easy. So again, y'all, let me go and see everybody putting their plugs in. Tonight, Houston, Texas, Holman Street Baptist Church, 7 o'clock, doing the Sermonic Selection for their Monday Thursday service. Tomorrow, noon, San Antonio, Texas, I will be with the Reverend Dr. Claudette Copeland. If you remember anything about Claudette Copeland and the, all of those women that are loose conferences, C.D. Jakes, International Woman of God, I'll be with her tomorrow at noon for their noonday uh, seven last sayings. I'm doing the sermonic selection there. Friday night, Brunham, Texas, Brunham, Belleville, Navasota, Giddings, Hempstead, all y'all, that region. Meet me with the Washington County Mass Choir, special guests there. And then, of course, Saturday, the video, uh, radio honors here in Houston, 4 p.m., uh, hosted by Derek Huggins. I'll get to see Amber again. She's being honored. Yeah. So, but anyway. <laughs> but, and then next week, Baltimore, Maryland. I'm back. East Coast. East Coast. I'm back. Gospel Tabernacle Baptist Church, 9 a.m. I want to see y'all. 1230 The Source. Yes, indeed. It's been a great morning, everybody. Be blessed. Know that you've been granted access to a new day. One that's full of grace, mercy, opportunity, and potential. So my question is, how will you make the best of your new day? Dr. James Mabel, your closing words, sir? God be with you, oh Lord, God be with you, God be with you, until we meet or see you again, oh, oh. I'll stop right there, praise the Lord. Praise God, because listen, he was going to take me in, but I know he will go in all at the same time. James, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining in and, you know, brightening up Thursdays. It's new music. It's throwback. It's a pre-Friday. It's all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, be blessed. Have an amazingly new day. Paris Ely is up next with The Morning Magazine. The last song you'll hear is new music from The Collective. The song is entitled Rejoice. Anthony Hall featuring Jonathan Nelson. Be blessed, everybody. Somebody tag Anthony Hall, tag Uncle G, tag Jonathan Nelson. Mama Lemmy Battles. Somebody's Mama here? Lemmy. Mama Lemmy Battles. Chicago's, more Chicago is in the building, everybody. Listen. Evangelist Lemmy Battles. 
Yeah. Um, Radio Robin has made her sound and said, a vote for Reach Gospel Radio, Media Market, Black Gospel Radio, Internet Radio, Radio Ballad. Yep. All the plugs listen, come. Robin, listen, Robin got in on it. Listen, Robin say, listen, everybody plug. else. <laughs> plug it. But Tony G did type his shameless plug in medium radio station of the year. You got Amethyst. I see her category 26 rap mm -hmm. and hip hop song. The song is redeemed. Yes, indeed. Featuring Molly music. And let's see who else. Um, Listen, I didn't realize that my pastor was on. Why you didn't tell me Andre Jones was in here? Wait a minute. Andre Jones came in church. He, he didn't put a hashtag talking about booked and busy. Wait a minute. Right in, I'm your right in candidate. <laughs> Come on, Pastor Jones. So my pastor, Andre A.J. Jones, good morning, sir. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you on. He is former radio, everybody. He retired about a month or so ago, 40 plus years in radio. So he's out there living his best life right now. <laughs> Bless you, Pastor Jones. I look forward to shaking your hand one day and talking to you about Amber. Why you have to do that? Pastor John, we got to have a whole dialogue about your parishioner. You, but, but you don't. But you don't. Entire combo, Pastor John. Okay. Well. Wait a minute. Norris Thompson. Really? 102.3. Y'all better come on here, Chicago. Hey, Norris. Chicago, Illinois is in the building, everybody. Yes, indeed. Good morning, Norris. You doing good? Listen, come on. And so Amethyst has done some cameo um, spots on um, 102.1. Yeah, she's done some radio over there. So 102, y'all better come on here. W. I've been across that bridge over there right, right outside of Chicago. I'm grateful. Wow. Shout out to Norris. So, man, good to see you, man. Uh, matter of fact, Norris. I'll hit you up. I'll be in Chicago next month, man, uh, at the APC Church of Morgan Park, Pastor Bill Ellis on the 15th. Yes, I know them folk. Yeah, with Chicago, I'm coming. I'm coming, Chi-Town, next month. I can't wait. Well, y'all, listen, before you leave, if you have not done so, share the broadcast as we wrap up today. Seriously, yes. please do that. Please do that. And uh, as we get ready to get on out of here. Shout out to Lady Victory. She's nominated in two categories for Praise Factor. So go and find, I wish I had it offhand, the Praise Factor. I think it's just praisefactor.com, praisefactorawards.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, definitely a great platform to be on. Um, I will say, and James is going to say something about it. Yes, I have several Praise Factor Awards, but um, love the work that Pastor T and her entire crew um, are doing there. T Pastor T. James, did you know that Pastor T is actually from Texas? She's from no. Galveston. Oh, that's right, Teresa. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Jordan. Yes. Pastor T. Teresa Jordan is, um, she is the head, the the thinker, the mind behind Praise Factor and yeah. so many other um, entities that come up underneath that brand. But Pastor yeah. T is from Galveston, Texas, yeah. graduated from Galveston Ball. Oh, high school. Come, come on. on. <laughs> down on the island, down on the right. island, 45. Way five. down 45. That's not Houston. 45. Saints. That's not Houston. Uh, it only takes you 45 there. minutes to get there, so. Hmm. You got to ride. <laughs> then you might as well. Yeah, you can call it Houston because it takes 45 <laughs> minutes to get to the outskirts of the. Yeah, but anyway, you still got to drive across the little island. Some days it takes me 45 minutes to get to James and he down at the end. So listen, just whatever. Don't act like that traffic ain't bad. Don't act like the traffic is not bad going towards your place. I'm just saying, whatever. Praise the Lord. Mama, let me battles. I look forward to seeing you too. I'll definitely, when the graphic and all that gets up, uh, definitely. Uh, it'll be at two o'clock over that APC. I can't wait. Chicago, I'm coming, y'all. What Mama say? Oh, you want me to go back? <laughs> yeah, my Mama is showing out. She's showing out in church chat because Amber. It's Amber's fault. 
That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> all right, guys, we got to go. Paris is up next. I was trying to get to Robin's um, plug. I was I was scrolling. I was trying to get to it. I was trying to get to it. Hey, you better plug it. <laughs> Listen, I'm ready for it all. I appreciate no. you all so, so very much. Um, Rebecca is still hanging out with us. Bishop Becker is still here, everybody. Um, Rebecca, I'm going to get you on. We're going to talk about that that uh, Bell Bonds company because there's some people in church chat. Listen, they might need them. They might need y'all. They, they no, might you need them. Huh? If you know that you buck, you're going to need them. Yes. Y'all, don't be out here in these streets acting up. Yesterday, I said a story about a young lady here in Houston. I got two stories and I'm out. She shot her children's father twice, nothing life-threatening, but she shot him because he brought his current girlfriend to drop off the baby. They, oh. they have two kids together. He was dropping off the kid back to the mother. Mama got mad that new girlfriend was in the vehicle and she shot him. She got a whole case against her now. Not the vehicle. The vehicle. The vehicle. And then yesterday at the fitness connection, hey! the men is working out. They playing basketball. Y'all know how y'all get when y'all playing basketball. Emotional. A little altercation, little words exchange. I, I dunked on you. I, that wasn't no foul, bro. <laughs> Chop it up, suck it up. Hey, we got this. Spilled out, spilled all in the parking lot. Baby done got shot over the basketball game. In over the, the workout. In the workout. Y'all. Between that and road rage, just pray over every situation. If you feel yourself in a situation, pray and ask God, what should you have me to do? What Amber, shall I do? Amber, but why do people, you just burn so many calories? <laughs> Listen, and then you're going to lose blood on top of that. You burn. I got to go. I'm not going to do this with you. No, oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. I got to go. You can't, do you, yet. you can't do that. You done burned all them calories and now you finna, you done got popped over the basketball game. Now we got to do better.com. Do better.com. Okay. Listen, Norris done got in on it too. Listen. But Norris, plug. Y'all hear that? Ooh, but listen, he did. I'm black and I matter. Listen, that's Lemmy Battle's song that went number one on the internet. I'm black and I matter. Lemmy Battles has a whole song about it. She got a whole song. Got a whole song. Come on, Mama. Let me battle Chicago. Come on. Right. Okay. This is the last thing. We got to go. This is what's happening Saturday. That yeah. right there. That's what's happening. I am so excited to be a part of this group of radio professionals. Um, I have literally worked with everybody except one. Um, and then those people, all those artists that's on the flyer, listen, if you're li looking for some good, good gospel music, it's going to be in the building. It's going to be in the building, including James Mabel. Y'all see me over here? Y'all see that? Look, thank, thank you all so very much. Guys. We got to go, James. We got to go. Thank you all so very much. Until next week, Lord, say the same. I am back with you. And I'm here Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, dark and early. James, be safe in your travels. Everybody in church chat, be blessed. Remember, if you get in a situation, ask the Lord, what shall I do next? Be blessed, yes. everybody. And have an amazingly new day. Bye, y'all.